Hey, what's up, everyone? How you all doing today? Welcome to episode 11 of our Let's Play series, Adeptus Mechanicus with a Heretic DLC. Uh, let's get straight into it. We've got um, quite a bit of Blackstone here, so let's get our upgrades on. So, rank 9, 9, 8. I'm going to try and keep leveling them up. So, pretty cool. Right, so we've got Minarius. He's going to be our beefcake. Already got chest. Trousers. Let's get the gauntlets. Um, attempt to get another upgrade for him. Make him a bit more of a bruiser. So we can get our gauntlets then. I think we got a new axe last time. So 3 to 5 physical damage. 4 to 6, yeah. Is that going to be two augment slots? Yep, we've got two free. Perfect. Cool. So, he's rank 10. Who was going to be our healer? Is it Leonardus? Yep. So, let's get him going down his tree a little bit more. Again, we've already got chest piece. Let's get him the, the helmet or the hood. Whatever you want to call it. upgrade 291 so we can't afford one more for him but we have got a little bit more HP I oh, know I don't even think it was HP was it it was um yeah just some physical armor but still it's not bad let's see if we can get one more upgrade for Jeremiah here yeah 264 yeah we can do that um, so Jeremiah was gonna go down our Shooty tree. Let's see, will any of these be advantageous? Definitely not on that one just yet. That could be handy. I don't know, I think we'll just get him some more, more blowing. Look at that. 3 to HP and 3 to movement. I think we might do that. Get both those trousers. Better than these ones. 2 HP, 2 movement. Yep. 3 HP, 3 movement. A lot better. Not a lot better, but better. Uh, and we've still got one slot free. So, Jeremiah, shooty guy. What's this gun? 6 to 8 damage. That's 4 to 6. We've got a good Croatia, we've got a good Croatia. Is that one or two slots? That's two. Let's give him the scanner for a bit. So his slots are all full, his slots are full, his slots are full. I'm looking up here. Cool, let's have a look at our missions, what we've got today. Is that again my pistol? Yep. On the specs, targets 75% chance to miss you of its attacks for a round. Level 2 Rust Orker. That for update Croatia. It's a flamer. It's our first mission. A uh, boss mission, that is. Hmm. Immortals, warriors, necropsis. That's a cognition stabby server to look to. I'm not sure whether we're strong enough to do this one yet, but I kind of really want to have a go. Um, let's do this one. I think. Let's go a flamer. This flamers are pretty good. Still haven't got any missions to unlock these though. Right now, I'm pretty sure we got a new. Canticle for the healing. There we go, restore 15 HP. Let's just check what we have got. Better one of these. No. Yeah, I'm happy with all that. Let's do it. Oh, <laughs> 
Assassin. Just about was we're running low on supplies because a lot of them are vented into the warp due to some damage. So we're trying to get some isotopic materials for fuel. straight up to this one and along. We might do that one if we need to. We'll see how our awakening level is after that first encounter. Oh, we got three. Let's go in the middle. Ooh. Many female ports cover the outer shell of a snuckcon panel. Perhaps interfacing could improve the team's performance. Obviously not. Didn't get any cognition points on that glyph. Kind of sucks a bit, so we come in with nothing. Right, kill all enemies. There's two over there. One, two here, one here. There as well. We've got a scan terminal there. God, this guy's going to be a bit of a long, long route. He's the one, has he got, yeah, he's got the refractor generator. I think I'll send him this way to try and go up and know all these two on that scan terminal. It's going to be a bit hard one on his own, but hopefully I'll get some some CP on the way and I can get another troop unit in our next go or something. So otherwise this one's going to take quite a while. Troops in everywhere. Alright, let's send this guy straight down there. Give this one something to think about. So I can leave us with one. Just gonna leave us with one. I use my reducer. One. He's got physical shield on him, so want to hit him with this energy attack. Get a bit more damage in there. Now he can move away from opportunity attacks. So, okay, I'm going to put him there, get him out of line of sight of this warrior here. Because he's just going to melee attack anyway. So I won't get an opportunity on him. CP up to get a troop unit in. Oh, I can get away the there. I might be using a turn. That's cool. Oh, there you go. That's the downside to it. Can I even. Oh, I can. I've got a line of sight on him. Okay, so let's. Let's use that one first. Free shot, see what we're working with. 
Nice, you got an energy shield, but it's only one. So we'll, we'll have a go. Seven damage, that's pretty good. So we use a scanner to get back cog point, and we use a servo skull to get one of these. So hopefully we can get a, a troop unit in our next turn now. Do I whack him right in there? Yeah, let's whack him in there. I'm not going to do the actual attack. He's only got one health, so when he moves away, I'll get the opportunity on him. Just like that. Oh, where's the other two? Yes, please, thank you, Cotton. Alright, well, that one's buggering off for a bit. I'm gonna make a push on this one. He's got two energy shield, I'm tempting to use this. It's energy, but it's machines for a charge, so it's going to deal extra damage. Yeah, let's do it. Let's see what we can do. Oh yeah, nine. That was that was well worth it. Awesome. Uh, not going to waste that attack either. How come we can't see him from there? That's a bit, a bit sucky. Safe from attacks, and then hopefully I can move my um, vanguard in there as well. Oh, let's cleanse this guy because he's got acid on him. I think we'll call it best. If I do the stabby stick, it's going to knock him back and he'll be out of melee range. I want to keep him in melee to get that opportunity attack on him. Spirit, but let's get him gone. Don't want no reanimation. So I move him away, he's probably going to get another 4 damage, he's going to be dead. Just going to have him sit there. That's really not cool. That's really not cool. That's what we're left with. Got this one here. Ones. Start pushing him up this way. Really want to do is push all the way up to this guy. I 
I've got a couple of CP, I can do it. There we go. He's only got one. So annoying. He had one health, but he's done all that damage and messed up my Vanguard guy. Salvage this, we can salvage. Here he's all good to go again. Cool. Um as I'm moving forward a bit. himself, but he's going to get stabbed again. There's no point just yet, I don't think. Nah. It's a sort of vanguard guy. Let's move him down the back this one up. There we go. Backed up. Cohort's rad sniffers are detecting potential traces of the target isotopes. The trail leads through a half-collapsed series of chambers, crumbling under the weight of the shifted landscape overhead. It may be perilous to pursue, but could bring the cohort to the objective more quickly. Calculation. Survey the collapsed chambers before taking this route. It will not be quite as fast, but should mitigate the risk. Caution. Take another way around. The mission will fail if the cohort is lost to this treacherous terrain. Courage to take the dangerous trail it is worth the risk. Well, it's not worth the risk of everyone dying. Survey. Take another way around. They're both going to take a bit of time. I think the survey is going to be the cleverer option. The cohort sizes up the stability of the chambers ahead before proceeding. A field engineer and experience tells them which parts to avoid, and while they do not make very fast progress, they emerge on the other side of the collapse unscathed. A foreignness also turns up a cache of rare elements unearthed by the upheaval. So I think we got some blackstone, didn't we? I've also got 
Bellicratio Claw. He was 8 to 10. That's more like it. So, we're only on Awakening of 1. So, we're going to skip that extra encounter. We don't need it. Apply intelligence, solve problem. Erratic and illogical radiation readings are throwing off the cohort's ability to track the target isotopes. Speed. Advance at full speed, ignoring the erratic readings. It will take too long to fix the rad sensors. Spirituality. Pray for the Omnissiah to intercede on your behalf. Or science. Attempt to fix the rad sensors. Science seems like a good shout. Cohort applies their tech law to the rad sensors and determines sensors are not the source of the problem, but the local source of radiation. They locate a cache of isotopic material, not the mother load they're seeking, but still valuable. Cool. Cool. A bit of extra blackstone. Never do any harm. Sudden radiation spike has turned this part of Agrilex tomb into a dangerous hot zone. A pair of Skatari lie in the zone, evidently having been overcome by the rad levels. It is sacrilegious to leave them there unrecovered, but the area may be too hazardous to do anything else. Commemorate the dead, pray for the dead and leave them where they are. Cremate the dead, burn the bodies, at least they will not lie there to rot. Bring back the dead, attempt to recover the bodies. Just gonna cremate the poor buggers. Cohort throws Prometheum over the bodies and sets them alight from a distance with gunfire. However, they did not expect a pocket of explosive gas, which causes a huge fiery blast and destroys the whole chamber. Crap. The cohort is clear of the explosion, but the nearby Necrons are immediately alerted to their location. Yes, we've increased the awakening. Let's. I think it's still manageable. Oh, I'm free now. Maybe we should have backtracked. Too late now. Oh, scan or destroy him, and we've got one, two. the action. Use our reducer while we can. So you have a bit of CP possible. I think we'll just leave them there for now. Guys, up for health a little bit. He's alright, he's gonna heal himself at the end of this turn. Uh, let's get that up. A bit of protection. Get that signal bit of damage in. Every little helps. I'm 
just gonna send this guy over here. Now this extra one. Extra warrior and these two chaps, I think we're just gonna have to blast straight up this edge. Let's see what we're dealing with first. He's only got one health, so we're not gonna use any of our CP up to get a final swipe on him, I don't think. We'll rely on him moving away and getting the opportunity attack to save us an attack. He can move, he's got the um, anti opportunity stuff. Right, let's get right in there, pick up two cold points. I can need some butt kicking. for the opportunity attack on him I guess but this way we've got a little bit more progress done push forward about second terminal so that's good now oh, we got another another warrior joy surrounded here. Actually. Just gonna canticle up. He's got energy shield. We're gonna do a physical attack, so let's get a bit of extra physical. Oh yeah, he's dead. He's dead. Push on to the next terminal. Yeah. Let's do it. Probably gonna get a warrior come out of this door now, I'd imagine. Yes. I'm pretty sure it's all the terminal scan now. Oh, I thought we we're gonna have to kill all enemies. Brilliant. Mission complete. The cohort locates a cache of ingots forged from a rare isotope by some unknown Necron method. They are able to take this rare bounty back to the two mentions for processing into fuel for the Kestless Metallican. Nice. Maybe, but to be honest, I thought we were gonna have to do another round or two of combat there. 
ended with a three, but only just. Oh dear. Oh well. We've got this flamethrower. That's quite a handy little um, handy little gun. That. I'll give that to Minarius. Okay. The next attack will break six physical armor. Plus ten movement for one round. Nice. Cool. Not bad, there, then, guys. Bit of a shorter-ish episode, about a half hour or so. But we got some good good encounters done there. Got some more Blackstone for our cohort. Get some more upgrades on the go. Hopefully soon, someone will give us a mission where we can get some more deployment slots so we can start deploying more troops. And then I'll be happier to take on these boss encounters when we can get a couple more troop units in there that are worthwhile. Um, but for today, that's it. I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, give us a like and a subscribe if you have. Uh, comments are always appreciated as well. Criticisms, feedback. Um, enjoy the rest of your day, everyone. Take care, and we'll see you tomorrow for the next one. Bye bye.